Yo, what's up? What's going on? What's good? The Boxer Sword checking in here. And I know that we had a lot of news that's come through uh, the airwaves or the sport of boxing. Uh, you know, we did have a notable fight that happened last night over in Manchester, England, as Kell Brooks scored the stoppage win over Amir Khan in a grudge match, uh, a domestic rivalry that is finally over. But what uh, happened after this particular fight is what we're talking about is Kell Brook, you know, being the winner, uh, saying that, you know, maybe he'll, you know, continue his career and, you know, fight up potential opponents that are out there. And one of them is the welterweight uh, contender, Connor Ben. And Connor Ben, you know, is undefeated, has, you know, um, a fairly uh, good record of opponents, particularly the last four opponents that he's faced. And uh, you know that he did have his stoppage victory over Chris Algieri back in December. Uh, so he's kind of gaining momentum uh, as far as like what he's doing there in the welterweight division. And the thing about it is, is that with him being at 20 and 0, some people are talking about him potentially getting himself in position to be a top contender for one of those world titles at welterweight. But and the thing about it is, is that now there's potential talk about Conor Ben facing Kell Brook uh, over there in England later on this year. And I'm like, wait a minute, why would Conor Ben go ahead and do that? What he could do, and what I say is a better direction, is to go after David Avangian. That's right. He should go after David Avangian. Why? because David Avangian is ranked number two currently in the WBC rankings. And this is the same David Avangian that had been ordered earlier this year to face Virgil Ortiz Jr. And we know now that Virgil Ortiz Jr. is slated to fight March 19th against Michael Vakinson in a WBO eliminator there at the 147 pound division. Michael McKenson, yeah, he's undefeated. He's there 21 0 with two knockouts. Okay. But David Avangian is there. And yeah, I know that he has a record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw, but he's had a string of victories. And he was the guy that kind of derailed the plans of a potential fight between, you know, uh, Connor Ben and Josh Kelly. Yep. That was going to be the plan last year. You know, Conor Ben, Josh Kelly. But Josh Kelly ran into David Avangian and ended up getting stopped. So why not go ahead and have that particular fight between Conor Ben and David Avangian right now? Especially with the status of David Avangian at this particular point. You know, because if you go in there, you fight David Avangian, you beat David Avangian, you're putting yourself in a position to uh, maybe fight for a WBC World Championship later on down the line. But why go ahead and go down to facing someone like a Kell Brook? You know, yeah, I know the money could be really, really enticing and all of that. But what does that do for your overall status uh, there in the welterweight division, particularly when the welterweight division, especially the top part of the welterweight division, is going to sort itself out? over the course of the next six to nine months, you know? Um, I'd say just wait it out, see what happens with David Avangian, who was supposed to fight Virgil Ortiz. And now that Virgil Ortiz is fighting Michael McKenson on March 19th, you know, now you have David Avangian uh, that's gonna be at the Wembley Arena on March 19th fighting Oscari Metz. I mean, that, you know, you go from potentially fighting Virgil Ortiz Jr. to fighting Oscar Metz. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, a step down for David Avangian. But if he's able to, you know, get through that particular fight without much problems, then you could potentially have, you know, Avangian fighting Conor Ben. And that could be a WBC eliminator. If I was Conor Ben, I would just wait that out. But, hey, if they say something about potentially fighting Kell Brook for the money, I know that there was also talk about Conor Ben facing Adrian Broner, but I'm like, hey, fighting one of those two guys 
mm, okay, you get somebody that's a notable fighter from, you know, that's had their primes years ago. Uh, but as far as like being a valid contender for a welterweight championship, Conor Ben should go over and face David Avenger. You go ahead and uh, share your thoughts about this particular topic. And if you haven't done so already, uh, give us a like uh, for this particular video and also subscribe to the Boxing Source YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. On that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.